Chess friends, hope you're well, Garry Kasparov is a legendary chess grandmaster and former world champion, he has won many chess tournaments, and he even holds an Oscar award in chess, with a peak elo of 2855 and an IQ around 190, this is truly exceptional, I've chosen him as my opponent for this game, where I boldly sacrificed my bishop. Let's dive into the excitement, our legend started the game with e4, we have the French defense, here white can push his e5 pawn, let me show you the variation, c5 c3 knight c6 queen goes out to b6 to create pressure to the United States and London, knight here knight h6 to go f5, attacking to the state of the kingdom, bishop d3 protects it, here you may think of capturing the d-pawn, but that's not a good idea because you know, water has many colors but water itself is colorless. You may win the pawn but you will lose the queen by with d5 discover check, so back to the position, play bishop d7 first to attack to the pawn and protect that square, bishop runs rook comes and if white plays castle he will fall in our tarp, play some boxing matches in center, sacrifice your knight, queen takes knight will lead into a breakup story between the king and queen, so after knight takes d4 bishop c5, bishop e3 is the only move to protect that knight. But you will face mathematical problem in b2 square, knight d2 captured captured captured, bishop b4, our opening trap has not over yet, no matter where the rook will go white will be dead lost, bishop e2, attacking to the monkeys, so take take rook f1 queen takes pawn, the bishop is under attack so bishop d3 queen a6 and that's it, black is completely winning the game because he have two rooks and pass pawns, you know chess is beautiful when you win a game, no matter how many blunders you make. Gary played d2, c5 knight here and after some sequences of moves later we have queen b6 c takes d4, capturing the pawn with the pawn will cause some headache for the knight and the center, friends, I've set a like goal of 1000 likes for this video, I know it's a big goal but I believe in you, please help me reach my like goal, in this position we have knight takes d4, sacrificing the pawn away, it's not a bad choice for him because Kasparov is a grandmaster, not an ordinary player like Ben 10 or Goku. He just want to develop his bishop, castle bishop out bishop f6 to slap the pawn, if you play queen c2 to protect the pawn then after e5, bishop runs e4, d4 square is a marsh for the knight, so after knight d2 bishop e6 a4 rook c8, threatening to shoot the pawn and the c3 pawn can't do anything, so queen c1 knight d4 attacks this, bishop runs away then we will sacrifice your rook, because if you capture the rook then knight e2 check will target both the queen and king with the gun. Using the four hands of the knight, so in this position if white play queen d1, rook to d3 targets the donkey with support from bishop on g5, so rook a2 queen takes pawn bishop here h6, and after some moves. Later, rook takes e6 will arrive with the two Chinese bodyguards, they are expert at kung fu and karate, how can white survive the game? So back to the position, Kasparov is a grandfather of a martial arts so he played b5 first, knight e7 rook c1 queen goes to b3 knight on g6 to attack the bishop, bishop d2 e5 and after 3 moves later, if white dares to play any 1600 elo move, his center will caught fire, bishop c1 e4, the knight buddy has no square to run, so knight d2 d3, look at my Russian army. With b26 aeroplane and missile tanks, Position will be devastated for white so in this position, Gary play h3, chess needs patience, right pieces combination and defensive moves to balance the game, if you are playing against a human or a weaker bot than you then you may balance your game, but I am stockfish, more intelligent than 100 super bots and genius people, I sacrificed my bishop on h3, because if you capture it then after check. King h1 will lead knight takes f2 king and rook fork so if you play king f1 then congratulation you will be checkmated in just two moves, the sun never rise in west, river never flows at outer space and there is no way to stop checkmate, so here if you play king g2, knight f4 check king g1 a4, queen b4 queen e5 to end the story of black king, knight f3 queen h5 to give him a $50,000 check, Knight h2 protects it so after doing pieces exchanges in e2. If white plays queen takes pawn then play bishop e5, white king is just exposed and you know what, the king is alone during the time of snowfall, so queen d1 queen g5 knight here takes takes check and it will be checkmate in 3 moves, 
what a beautiful checkmate right, don't leave the video here, I have many strategies and tactics that you can learn and apply to your game, chess friends, if you want to play like me then just comment, subscribe to my channel, watch my videos daily and practice. You will become a grandmaster, our hero Kasparov played bishop f1, bishop takes bishop takes queen d7 to attack the bishop, so if you dare to save the bishop then queen g3 will be a instant checkmate, don't engage yourself in material gains, engage yourself in intellectual and learning things, so in this position we have rook e3, queen takes a7 and Gary said, stop fish you are not only one who is the boss, I can fork your pieces, yes Kasparov you are right, but you know what, an ant can kill an elephant if it enters the ear of the elephant, bishop e6, getting this diagonal and if you play any normal looking move, let's say rook f1 then after queen e7, threatening a queen check, so rook blocks on g3, rook c4 queen c2 queen h4, attacking your best friend because your idiot pawn is drunk, king ups bishop c7, threatening knight takes h3 to destroy white's kingside, rook here knight captured and after a while, we will play queen f6. Knight d3 is coming to attack the pawn with the bishop support, king here bishop e6 rook h3 rook a4 to checkmate in one move, so he has to capture the rook. Knight takes rook to checkmate him, king e1 queen check knight takes check and it will be a checkmate in 3 to 4 moves, white is getting old and destroyed by queen f2, this is a big strategy which I was making, Kasparov captured the rook, I have no rooks but I am completely winning the game, because white's king is surrounded by full of dangers, I have the pass pawn on h file, the knight and bishop are doing very good job there, I will increase their salary, e3 is coming to book a ticket to hell journey. Rook takes d5, capturing the rook isn't good because after queen takes knight, everything might buy fine for white position, so h4 rook g5 e3, if you capture the pawn, let me show you the variation, king f1 queen check, king e1 queen a1 rook g1 and queen takes rook called seesaw checkmate, Kasparov moved around 360 degrees and played, rook f5, pawn takes check king here queen e6 to checkmate white, queen d5 isn't possible because after knight takes rook, takes queen check, and after some moves later, we will arrange to play queen g2, threatening to marry with an another queen, so queen f1 queen takes rook, I hope you can checkmate white from this position, so back to the position we have rook d8 check, take take knight takes queen, I have bishop and knight for the rook, but I have big Russian army and I am completely winning the game, this was an amazing game with Gary Kasparov, may he live more than 100 years, he made one mistake in the opening by sacrificing his pawn. In the middle game I sacrificed my bishop and his king became exposed, the game is like a shark attacking a fish, of course I am not that fish, I am stockfish, not a fish living in water but a fish living in chess, so wish you all the best thanks for watching subscribe for more bye bye take care see you soon.